Captain Marvel comes out tomorrow on Blu-ray and 4K, and I thought it'd be fun to dive in and talk about the special features and everything that's going to be featured on that Blu-ray, and of course, give my little revisiting thoughts to the whole entire film. So, let's get into it. What's going on everyone? Excuse the mess of a room. I just got off a flight and I actually just rewatched Captain Marvel as well for this video and I'm actually tough on about it because I've been in Disney World, I got to see Toy Story 4, there was a lot of fun stuff in that and a lot more videos and a lot of other things. There's going to be a lot of videos this week. Um, but the first one for this week is a Captain Marvel Blu-ray review slash revisiting. I love doing these for these superhero films. In general, any other sort of film, the big blockbuster due to the fact that I like going through and kind of revisiting them after a couple months of sitting on them and seeing do they actually hold up to the original review that I gave them. Because sometimes I do feel like sometimes you see a film and it goes down a bit in your ratings and it, sometimes it goes up in your ratings. But, you know, I came home, got a couple special things in the mail more than you actually know, there's a bunch of stuff behind me that I'm actually going to have to go through and do a whole separate video on. It'll also be like in my Blu-ray haul at the end of the month, so do look out for that. But uh, first thing is I got a little bit of a goose, a little bit of a cute little cat right here. You guys can get a little bit of an incline right there. Goose was probably like one of my favorite parts about Captain Marvel in general and the whole relationship he had with Nick Fury. Not everything that happened with Nick Fury I liked, but that stuff I did actually appreciate. Except the last thing that happened. But another thing I got was a Tesseract of my own. Now, I love the Tesseract. It's a little cool little miniature Tesseract to kind of have. Of course, this is featured in here because within the movie Captain Marvel, the Tesseract is in here. It's kind of the one little MacGuffin that has been through the whole MCU. And again, like I said, Captain Marvel is in here. And especially on rewatch, I've seen the film, I think, three times now. This is my third time watching the film after going back through and getting on it. I like this film for sure. I don't think it's great by any means. I think it's good. I still think it's good. But this is my thing. After revisiting it, I'd still probably stick with my score of a B minus. I think it is a solid made MCU film that in the beginning is a little bit weak, but as the film gets going on, it gets stronger and stronger. Just kind of how the motto is higher, further, and faster. And I think the film still holds up to those standards. The big diverse thing in this movie, though, comes down to Brie Larson in the role. Now, after seeing Endgame, I actually really liked her role in there. I like from the stuff that we learned about Captain Marvel about her in this. It kind of elevates to it in Endgame, but... I like how she's kind of a sassy superhero. Like, we don't have a hero like this in the MCU yet. And I think that's why I really just liked her approach to it. It does feel very comic book-ish of Captain Marvel. That is who the character is. I thought she really much embodied it. I think the direction is solid. It's nothing super special, but still a solid addition to it. And I think there's a nice knitted humor into this. The thing about this MCU film, though, and I think as it will be, is that the future Captain Marvel films, I feel like, will have a better direction of what they're going for. And I think with now her character established in this universe the best parts in this film is when she's working with nick fury for sure and i think that's why this film is elevated to a whole nother level and i think the next film they're going to do the same thing of course ben mendelson as the scrolls i have to talk about the scrolls i think ben mendelson stole a lot of the scenes in here he was hilarious from top to bottom i think every single joke he had hit of course with every blu-ray review or revisiting i like to go into some of the bonus features because you know when films have bonus features some of them are very much worth talking about and one of the things that i liked about this was the director's commentary the story time watching it i did watch it with the director's commentary and i thought it was very unique for what the directors were saying they have a lot of different inputs and they make a lot of reasons for why they chose to do certain things with the character there actually is one thing in here that i wish the film would elevate a little bit more that the bonus features actually go into and it's the scroll and the crease and their kind of war that they've had with each other there's one bonus feature I prefer that is about the scrolls and the crease that they go together and it actually really works for the furthering universe please do not miss out on the gag reel i always the big feature of all these bonus features of course guys that is my captain marvel review you. I really enjoyed this film. I, I, I think if you didn't like it in theaters, maybe give it another try, maybe not. I mean, that's kind of up to you, but I think if you are a fan of Captain Marvel, I gotta give you that reminder that it is coming out this Tuesday, so tomorrow after posting this video. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. Make sure to comment down below and tell me what you guys thoughts are on Captain Marvel. And of course, the biggest thing possible is if you want to win your own copy of Captain Marvel on Blu-ray, make sure to go over to the Good Boys podcast and listen to the last installment on how you can win a copy of Captain Marvel on Blu-ray. Of course, guys, do not forget to go over to Sandwich on Films on how you guys can see films early and get into movie giveaways. Yes, I said it, movie giveaways. Guys, that's going to be it for me. So thank you guys again so much for watching this. And until next time, stay classy.